Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the F30 amp ESC from T-Motor. Now I know it seems like I've, this is the second time I've reviewed the same one, but this is a different one. This is a 2 to a 4S uh, virgin. The other one was a 2 to a 6 or 2 to a 5S uh, virgin ESC. So this is a bit different here. Um, this is would be considered in the uh, mid-range ESC price category. Now this is the V2. It does have a heatsink, so that's good. Uh, it didn't come with any heat shrink, so that was um, um, that was very bad, kind of. Um, no, no, no type of heat shrink. That's how I got it. And, I mean, the wires were low, but I had to cut them because I had to use them. So um, here we got one kind of fat, nice tantalum capacitor. So this should reduce the uh, high frequency noise. Uh, it is rocking a BB2 chip, so it's DSHOT 600 capable and it's ready. Uh, we get how many capacitors here? One, two, three, and then. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get eight capacitors. So this guy should be should perform pretty good. I, I'm hoping it's pretty good. Usually, as we see, the more capacitors, the better they are. Um, so what else do we have on this guy? Um, that's really it. So let's put him on the bench and let's get started. Alright guys, so how did this guy perform? Now, this guy is tiny. I guess the, the main idea of this ESC was to keep the weight down as well as be very good and reliable. Now, what I've noticed is this big tantalum capacitor here actually does actually do a difference in the ESC. And it has a pretty good amount of uh, capacitors on it. Now, what I did is I went ahead and compared it with the DYS XSD. Just because, you know, that one's a dollar more expensive and that one's rated up to a 5S. And this is only rated up to a 4S. But that's really the only thing I could really compare it to. If I go compare it next to a Racer Star, it's just going to destroy it. So we needed some good competition. Now, this is rated for the, this is the 4S. This is the smaller version of the F30 amp ESC from T-Motor. And actually, it's a very good ESC, it seems like it. However, you know, $15 for you know like rated at max as a as a 4s you know, i think it's a bit too much maybe but at the same time it could be the same concept as to save weight for those fpv racers the people who really want to race and try to keep the weight down as much as possible and have a very good esc so i think this is where this fits to be honest because i was trying to like just to figure it out and that's the only thing that keeps coming to mind um noise perspective very good uh voltage spikes very very good voltage drops okay uh the voltage drops were 12.8 which is good it's not bad at all that is in the safe zone um, i'm very pleased with this uh for voltage spike 19.6 that's amazing actually for for such a tiny esc uh so overall the esc is good i don't see anything bad about it um it's small it's light it's uh compact and it filters noise pretty darn well. So Team Motor did a good job on this one. Um, and that's all I could really say. So uh, maybe, I don't know if we'll be able to put this on a quad someday. But if anyone's used it, please let me know down in the comment section. How did it go out for you? And let other people know as well. So um, I can't really say from experience. All I have is one and I just tested it for noise and, and voltage spike just to see the overall quality and design. And it passed. So I consider this as a pass and it's a good one. So if you have this, uh, you're in good luck. So that's good. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, just feel free to let me know. And that's it, guys. So I will see you next time. See you, guys.